Got the meow. Meow, 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 meow. But I'm a creep. Oh man, Mr. Buff Man now. I don't know that part. What's going on guys, my name is Vex, and we're gonna be doing a ranking of Tony Ox Pro Skater 2 levels. You know, I played this on the N64 when I grew up, but I've even like on my friend's PS2, because he had the PS1 disc, so we could play it over at his place, but I've just always been in love with this game. And I wanted to do a rank all of the levels from this game. I am not r like, ranking the GBA game, like the GBA levels, GBC levels as their own little thing. If you want me to do a tier list on those levels, I could, but I'm just sticking to the main games, which is Tornox Pro Skater 2, the bonus level Hoffen whatever factory at in the N64 port. We also got uh, the 2X levels, which is for the Xbox port of this, but I'm not including the Pro Skater 1 levels, even though Technically, I could. If I do this down the line, like for like Underground 2, obviously I'm gonna put add them to it because it's a main part of the game for like classic mode and stuff. But other than that, I think we should get started. And I'm gonna start with Hangar because that's the first level we play. Hangar is a pretty fun level. It's, it's like the warehouse to this game. I find Hangar and Foundry to be the warehouses of this of these games, but how do I feel about this level? Well, this level I do really enjoy when it comes to the challenges. I mean, it's the, it's the introduction to this game and it feels really nice. The two sections uh, splitting off the helicopter and the half pipe. I, I, I really like this map a lot. Not one that I always come back to, e even like in Thug Pro, I do play it, but it, it's not one that I always see myself playing, but it's one of my favorite levels to, like for the introduction of any of these games. So uh, I think this is a solid B. It's fun to play, it's easy to play. The challenges are easy and fun. Overall, it's just an enjoyable map. School two, now this one, a lot of people debate that this is one of the best levels in Tony Hawk history. I really like it, but I wouldn't say it's top tier in like Tony Hawk history. And this game, it's one of the best in this game. The map is fun to play. Unlocking the gym is such a fun thing to do. I mean, it's super satisfying, especially if you didn't know that it was possible to open it up. I remember playing as a child and I somehow opened the gym. I now know that it's from the open sesame uh, rail, but like back then I was like, wait, what? Other than that, I think this map is very good. Off topic, I, I, I've i always am astonished that Skull 3 got rid of uh, Carlsbad, which is one of my favorite parts about this map. Getting into it is really fun. I'm going to put this as A tier. It's not S. It's like a solid A tier. Marseille. Now. This one, I'm not as strong when it comes to my feelings about it. I love to play it, but I do find it to not be one of my favorite maps to play in. I mean, it's fun to go into the hidden spot underneath the map, but I don't know. It's the gaps are fun. That's for sure. The gaps are really fun. The cache locations are a bit of a bit fun as well. The ones underneath the map, it does feel like a gold mine, which is fun. I wouldn't put it B tier, but I'll, I, I'm gonna put it C tier because I, f I feel like this map does have its flaws. New York. Now this one is another one of my favorite maps. I love this map. I love the street section and it feels really cool to go into Brooklyn Banks in this map. I mean, you got the secret tape there, which is really fun to get because you got to do some platforming. Cash icons in this map feel really nice to get. 50 50 ing Joey's sculpture is a lot of fun. That's one of my favorite goals in this game. I really like this map. Gameplay wise, it plays really well and it looks nice. I'm glad that they decided this map was perfect for nighttime because, I mean, Roswell, I don't know. Nighttime in Pro Skater 1 did not feel super crazy but it feels perfect in this game and this map. With the taxis going all crazy. Other than that, I really like this map. A lot of fun to play. I think this goes high A tier. Venice Beach. I don't know if this is what gonna be a controversial one for me, but I really do not like this map. Not only in Pro Skater 2, but Underground. This map 
felt pointless to add to the game. The middle section where it's just nothing but the tables feels really empty and there's not there's not even any goals going on around there so it doesn't really feel necessary. It was cool to me when I when I was younger I didn't play through the whole game a lot so when I found out that this map had an extra section outside of the actual Venice Beach, I was like, this is so sick. I like the outer areas compared to the center area. The center area really feels empty. I don't I don't think I do really like this map. It's not F tier, but it's definitely close. I'm putting this in low D tier. It's not a strong map. It has a lot of flaws, but it's really fun to get that secret tape, especially the way that speedrunners do it where they go off the table but a map that does feel satisfying to do stuff in is skate street now this map is kind of big especially for an indoor skate park not, not only that it's a real life skate park i mean it's i don't it's not there anymore oh well but dude this map is amazing it flows well. Unlocking the secret outside areas is so cool. G grinding around the rail that connects both sides of the half pipe. That is so sick. And then grinding the one rail from the like the vert wall kind of thing. And then grinding the light to unlock that area. That is sick. I love this map. I love this map so much. Just everything about this map. Even though the outside areas do feel kind of bland. Especially the, the one that just two quarter pipes that does feel the most bland and it's whatever it's there for one cash icon the other one i like a lot with the car and the rails and whatever it's like a docking station or whatever it would be called where trucks would unload stuff i do really like this map even though i was kind of saying it was kind of pretty perfect <sighs> nah screw it screw it it's s tier i don't care what you guys say it's S tier. I have to. I love this map too much. But a map that I don't really love too much is Philly. This map isn't really... It's not my favorite. I it, The Love Park sec section, I don't think it's really one-to-one -one of Love Park. I mean, they've gotten some stuff wrong before when it comes to IRL skate spots. But I do really like FDR. Maybe more of the park was added to it when Proving Ground came out. Maybe more was added to the DIY skate park. It's just, I don't know. I like unlocking the FDR park. I love getting the lip trick challenge. Even though you'd be like, dude, lip tricks are pointless in Tony Hawk, which I do agree, but I like getting them in this map. I don't know why. I know it's just for a challenge, but it's, it's fun. And also a lot of the gaps do feel really fun to get in this. I mean, I do like draining the pool as well and or not the pool, but the fountain. And I also like getting the secret tape. So that's really fun. The bells is not my favorite. Nose blunting the awning is not my favorite. Skate's all right, but a lot of this map is not my favorite. I wouldn't say it's D tier, but it's it's low C tier. One that I really like as well is Bullring. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, Bullring is not that great of a map, which I've heard before, but I'm like, dude, chew. I like this map. This map is really good in my opinion. I like getting the cash icons through the wire going across the maps and also going up all the way onto those like I don't know what you would call them. I mean, they're kind of like billboard kind of things. I don't even know, but I like doing that. The half pipe feels really nice in this map, especially with all their little rails and ledges going around it. We're in the, 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 the freaking hoop, the loop-de-loop. -loop. That is really cool. And the bowl adds a lot to this. If the bowl wasn't here, the map would feel a lot more empty than it already is. It's an empty map. Why would you love this map? I don't know, man. I just love it. The gameplay is fun. The ramps feel nice. The rails are fun to get. It's just a ring full of a lot of bowl. I don't even know where I'm. I like it a lot. I don't know. It's not S tier. It's not A tier. It's just a solid B tier. Above hanger. Barely. 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 But it's still above B tier. Or what? No. Above hanger. Okay. Now. This is where we get to the extra stuff. Skate Heaven is a cool thing to unlock, but does it play well? I don't really think so. I think that it's not that great of a map. It's it's cool to look at, it's beautiful. Especially even in this game, even before one and two, this map looked beautiful. Like I love a lot of the different stuff. I love 
all these different spots that were added to this map but does it play well i don't think so i don't know what you would call it like the little snake session thing at the playground that little thing is what the rocks in that little playground thing they act like quarter pipes but you wouldn't be able to tell unless you actually try to use them as a quarter pipe i don't know just the playground does not feel too well fleshed out the ghetto area is really fun and the stair set that reminds me of school. Other than these cool random things around the map, it doesn't really play that well. It play it doesn't really have any flow really. It's just area, area. Here's a little thing that to try to transition it into the other area, but it doesn't really mesh too well. It just looks like blocks placed in areas. I don't know. I'm putting it be below below uh, Philly. It's not that great, but it's cool to unlock. Gaps are kind of whatever as well. Here's the best map of them all, Shopper Drop. Dude, You like people will say that Montana is probably the best map in the game. They're wrong. It's Shopper Drop. I mean, like, dude, it's Shopper Drop. What else are you gonna, what else are you gonna say more about it? Actually, the best map in this game. It's S tier, it's not changing, it's staying where it is. Now, here's a map that I feel like could have been better, Hoffman Factory. It's a port of a map from the PS1 game, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. It's the first map that you play, and I mean, it plays all right. It's a warehouse kind of level, but it's just a lot of vert ramps, uh, a, a lot of quarter pipes, a lot of ramps. It feels pretty bland in my opinion. And also it doesn't have the outside area. There's a rail that you can grind to open a door, uh, one of those big doors in a warehouse. I, because of the outside being removed, I feel like this map is worse than it already was. I mean, it plays all right, but there's nothing much to it. There does, there's not even any gaps. Like it's cool to have an extra level, but to not have any gaps is insane to me. I think this is bottom of D tier below Venice, but not F tier. We are now getting into the 2X levels. Now these maps, they, they play a key role in 2X in my opinion. It's like, there's a lot of things in 2X that are really fun, but I feel like th this is a big highlight of the game. This map, club a lot of these do have pretty bad geometry really bad like level design but i don't care i really love this map even though like the skate park section outside it's like not really well made is you're gonna you're gonna fall a lot but i love this map it's actually one of my favorite maps in 2x i just feel like a lot of the 2x maps have a lot of charm it's it's strange because of like, these maps are not well made. They feel like a half-assed Neversoft map, even though this isn't fully Neversoft, and I feel like Neversoft is the best developer for Tony Hawk. I mean, obviously they made the, all the good games, but like, when it comes to map design, Neversoft has it down pretty much, but not really Treyarch. I don't think Treyarch has the best map design for a Tony Hawk game, but I do really like this map. I'm putting it above Bull Ring. I do really like this map. This map is really fun. The secret area to have all the speakers, it doesn't make sense, but a secret area to have all these speakers to, for the secret tape is a lot of fun. 2X levels feel like a lot of just platforming rather than trying to play Tony Hawk. I don't know if that makes any sense. This and construction site really feel like platformers, but I also really love construction site. This one, people really hate. They don't like the verticality of it. People are saying that's a really hard map, but I don't find it that hard. I find it really easy to go up the map. It's never seemed like a challenge for me. And even if I fall, I can reset it and get right back up there. It's so easy to go up the map. It's so easy to get the secret tape. There's no challenge, at least in my eyes. I find it so easy to climb the map. The freaking seesaws are such a fun challenge. You can go on the buildings outside of the fence. That That is really sick to me. I've always been in love with levels that have to do with construction sites, but a lot of people don't really seem to like this map for good reason. There's good reason to not like this map, but I do really like this map. Uh, it's not above hangar. It's in B tier, but it's like middle ground of B tier. But Tampa, there's the Tampa Am skate park that is here before underground. The outside is a mess. The inside plays exactly how you think it would. I mean, it's the Tampa skate park that you see in underground. I know this is prior to that. The inside of this map, beautiful. It plays pretty well. There is a Easter egg in this map of a dog sitting in a lawn chair, just sunbathing. And that is a really fun secret. I love that a lot. 
I'd go to say that it's in between Philly and Skate Heaven. Subway, beautiful map, plays really well, but it just, there could have been so much more with this. I feel like they could have made it perfect. It's close, it's like the whole thing flows so well, so I feel like if they just had the level design down, being able to make it more Neversoft-like, I know that's a little, a little silly to say, but it's true. Because it doesn't flow perfectly and there's no challenges, there's no nothing, it's just a bonus level, I think I'm gonna put it at the top of C tier. I actually, I'm gonna put it below Marseille. I feel like Marseille plays really well, Marseille, and it, there's stuff to do in it. A map that's complete dog water with no nothing to do. It's so small, so condensed. It's so difficult to skate. You can't even do anything in it. It's so bad of a level, which sucks in my opinion, because rooftop levels dude if they explored this idea to a much fuller extent not rooftops from pro skater 5 but this skylines this could have been something so good but they made it an f tier map there's i mean there's no missions there's no nothing it's so bad of a map here's one of the worst maps in the entire game crane drop they took shopper drop one of the best map probably in tony hawk history and they just added a lot of flow to it. Were the devs this brain dead? There's no helicopter. F tier. But no, it's, it's actually S tier. No, really, it's like C tier. But I also think it's A tier. But it's also bottom of the barrel. It's too good. I, I, I'm putting it S tier. This is my full ranking. Yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the video with a friend. I would appreciate that. I want to do Pro Skater 3 soon. Don't know when that will be, but if you haven't checked out already, I'm a Roblox YouTuber now. What can I say? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you liked. Subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. I don't know, I don't remember the rest. Stay goaded, you know, stay goaded.